Hey everyone, David C. Anderson here coming at you from the Knife Center. And today we're taking a look at the Civivi Anthropo, a new design from Elijah Isham. Let's check it out. So Isham has previously worked with a number of different companies to produce his designs, including Wee Knife, Civivi's parent company. But this is his first collaboration to come out under the Civivi brand, which was created to offer the fit and finish that Wee is known for at a lower cost of entry. The design of this knife isn't quite as bold as some of his other collaborations, but instead we get a well thought out and well executed design. It still retains his signature style, but it's in a form that makes it perfect for your next EDC. We get a D2 steel blade with a nice flat grind and a swedge and a satin finish, and we've got about a three and an eighth inch of cutting edge. We've got a good sweep to the profile, and the edge itself is nice and thin. Long slicing cuts should be very efficient with this shape. The tip does sit above the center line a little bit, but I can still get it to present decently for scoring cuts by holding it like so. For deployment, we've got a nice low profile flipper tab that doesn't jut out like an ordinary flipper, which is nice. It makes a smoother profile in the pocket. The pivot is fitted with bearings and it has a nice smooth action when you pull the tab straight back. If you wanna be a little more discreet in how you open the blade, you can use the triangular cutout here to open it with your thumb, but it's not quite as smooth of a motion. The handle scales are constructed from G10 with a carbon fiber overlay, which has been milled to reveal the colors underneath. And it follows the contours of the shape quite nicely to add a little bit more of a dynamic flair to the design. There's a couple different colors available, including blue and black, or our favorite, this orange G10. We've also got dual skeletonized liners and a nice G10 backspacer to complete the handle construction. Size-wise, it's a little bit on the smaller side, but I think it's just about perfect for EDC. For me, I get about a three and a half finger grip on the knife. And even though there's a small area up in front here, it's not really a full size finger choil for choking up, but you can pinch up there for more delicate tip work. The liner lock on this knife is very secure. I've got no blade play in any direction with this knife, and yet it's still very easy to disengage. Completing the package, we've got a nice deep carry pocket clip that's set up for tip up carry, and it is reversible for left or right side carry. Although it's not completely deep carry, you're gonna get just a little bit of that knife that sticks up above. So the Anthropo is definitely stylish, but it's also definitely meant to be used. Also, if you're a fan of Elijah Isham's work, but have never really been able to afford some of his higher end pieces, this is one of the easiest ways to get into one of his designs. It's full of his signature flair, but it's ready to be put to work. If you wanna get your hands on one, click the link in the description below to head over to knifecenter.com.